Hey everyone, Catch em All Collectibles here with a CGC return video. I've got two returns that just landed. I believe it's a 700 card total return. And as I've done recently in the past, it's just going to be like a highlight video. I'm not going to show you all 700 cards. That's too much. Too many 8.5s to show. But honestly, this one, it was better than some recent ones. Maybe I just sent better condition cards. I guess I'll start working through the cards now. But I've heard some people say CGC might grade easier without subgrades. I don't know if I fully believe that. But given how much they charge for subgrades, I kind of could get behind the fact that it might be a different like grading service. They don't go into it as depth. They don't calculate the four subgrades. They just eyeball the card and say, yeah, that feels like a nine, nine. Um, kind of concerning to me. I feel like I've mentioned it before. And in a recent video, actually the most successful video I've made so far, I did discuss how I'm probably done grading with CGC. Overall, it was really well received. <clears throat> there was a small subset of people who pushed back a little bit. Oh, CGC is good. It's hard to get a good grade, which is good. And from a collector's standpoint, I agree. I personally like to know what's wrong with my card, where it has issues. So I, I love the idea of subgrades. But from a business perspective, like the whole point of that video, why I'm going to be done grading with CGC is purely from a business perspective. I just don't want to be getting... There's going to be chunks of cards here. Like these are all Wooloos. Um... So if I'm going through in chunks, the whole stack I'm taking is all the same card. But yeah, from a business perspective, as I, I mentioned it late in the video, so maybe people didn't get to it. But I don't want to sell a card as a CGC 9 when a CGC 9 earns less than a PSA 9. Let alone the fact that from my experiences, many CGC 9s are going to get PSA 10s. Many CGC 9.5s especially are going to get PSA 10s. Um, so it really kills the resale value when grade for grade, the prices in C CGC cases suffer. And then the grades to begin with are going to be lower, generally speaking. Um, I'm not trying to say CGC just takes the PSA grade and subtracts one across every card universally. That's obviously not the case. But generally speaking... I think once the CGC pop reports come out, it'll be quite obvious, especially when you look at some, well, I might be the only crazy person grading Wooloos from cereal, <laughs> but uh, when you're looking at like a Sword Shield 50, that Charizard V full art, cards like that, you're going to see the grade distributions I think will surprise people. The PSA 10 rate for a given card versus... How many of them get CGC 10, CGC 9.5, etc. Um, but yeah, in any case, the main reason I'm halting grading with CGC is primarily a business one. That said, for the same reason I, I don't want to be selling CGC cards, I'm going to be buying a ton of them. Um... They're not achieving great prices on the market for what they are for the card inside the case. So, yeah, for, for exactly that reason, my buys will be disproportionately CGC collections. Um, these aren't even sorted that well. I, I had two stacks of Venusaur Vs there. Um, basically, I guess I can talk about the cards I graded here a little bit. Uh, primarily modern super cheap promos these were the cards that i snuck in before the price increase without subs i think i paid a, just under ten dollars a card um and i got a pretty good pretty good nine plus rate but not crazy i am gonna have to after this stack i'm gonna have to pause briefly so i can set up more cards um But yeah, as you can see, the general theme of this, I, I would say, maybe not so much Boltend. I really like dogs, but I don't think he's too popular of a Pokemon yet. Uh, 
but generally speaking, the theme is cheap modern promos that are of fairly popular Pokemon. So I'm going to pause briefly and I'll get new cards in front of me to continue. So continuing on here, I've got Two more stacks of modern, and then it goes to a little bit of Watsy, non holo first editions, a little bit of foreign stuff, and then a little bit of EX era to bring it home. I've mentioned this before, but like this submission cl clearly isn't too thrilling. There's nothing crazy nice in here. It's uh, a lot of the same duplication, just fairly cheap stuff, but... That's part of reality. I mean, not everything is just trophy cards and first edition base, high grades. Um, definitely a, a decent bit of just low mid-end stuff is a large part of my business as well. I kind of sell in the entire spectrum. I sell cards all the way down to $10, 15 slabs, some of the ill-advised ones I've sent. And then I sell all the way up to five figures, well into the five figures. Um, never cracked six figures yet on a single sale, whether a card or a lot. But one of these days, maybe. Who knows? A little bit of Neo Revelation. I think I had Neo Genesis in here. Some of the... I have found like everyone graded jungle and fossil but they're um honestly like my cgc 8.5 cgc 9 jungle and fossil they do fairly well i mean the cards raw sell for a dollar or two oftentimes so paying less than 10 to slab it a couple dollar card and then selling it for low 20s is pretty reasonable. If I were to send some of these cards to auction, though, I'd do really, really bad. Like, I put up all these in listings as buy it now, and I don't do any best offers. The only exception will be if somebody comes to me and they want to buy, like, occasionally I'll get somebody who wants to just buy nearly a complete set of... Uh, common or uncommon CGC9 jungle... I'll I'll send an offer for like 10 to 15% off every single card in the set and they'll buy 20 or 30 cards at once. Those are a win-win because they save a few bucks over my buy it now pricing. They get everything all at once and I save on shipping fees because the ship one of these slabs, if, if someone in California buys it, it's like $4.50 right now for first class. I, I, I think USPS pricing is actually going up soon. Maybe it already has. I'm recording this on the 16th. It'll probably go live tomorrow on the 17th or maybe 19th on Wednesday. I've got a, a PWCC rant video I'm going to be recording tonight too. So I don't know which one will go up when. <clears throat> but yeah, these um, these foreign based first edition. I, I don't think I have too many listed on eBay yet. But I've got... Those are the pictures. that Those are the ones that I'm currently like photographing. I think I showed another return video of CGC Foreign First Base. And I had a lot of people message me, email me. I sold a handful of cards, a few handfuls, I guess, of cards through email, through Instagram, just from my YouTube video. Like, I haven't even... It's been a couple months, I think, I've had those. I haven't even gotten them listed. People really seem to like them. I think they're good cards. Uh, I... I had the pleasure of opening every language first edition base except for English. So I still have not a ton, but a decent little bit of raw base first foreign. So we're coming down to the last stack. Unless I missed a box. Let me double check quick. I guess there was one more box, but I'm not even going to show it. It was, uh, it was half Bumblebee promos. Uh, Black Star... Wizards of the Coast promo 27. And then the other half was, what is it? Sword Shield 33, maybe? The General Mills Pikachu promo. Really like that Squirtle. Um, so yeah, this last stack, I guess if you stuck it out for 10 minutes of, I don't know if I'd say junk slabs for all of them, but some borderline ones. 
you you make it to the uh, the pretty cool reverse hollow EX era. Oh, and then I guess a little bit of Neo Genesis to bring us home. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd hopefully provide some interesting commentary, kind of elaborating further on my CGC stance. Not using them to grade, but continuing to buy them heavily over PSA. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I appreciate you all watching. I will catch you all later.